Hi, Kamal. Hi, Paulina. How are you? Hi, good. How are you doing today? Uh, not too bad. So just it's a you know cold winter out here in Edmonton. So. All right. It's only 10.30 p.m., just like you said. <laughs> yeah, it's just 10.30 p.m. <laughs> Wait a minute. You said Edmonton, so you're in Canada? Yes, I am, yeah. Wow, I used to live in Ottawa and Toronto. That is awesome. Yeah, I know, right? So you know how cold it is. So Edmonton yeah. is even colder than Mississauga, Toronto, and Ottawa. I know. We moved to Turkey a year ago, so <laughs> it's much better than that <laughs> these days. <Yeah>. Nice yeah. escape. <laughs> yeah. So um, I called you today to chat about you a little bit. Uh, I will share my screen with you what I was looking at. So I was looking at your LinkedIn profile mm -hmm. over here. I saw you are a founder of AMZ One Step. So I'm assuming right away from just that, when it says Amazon Listing Optimization, I usually don't read the rest. I just assume you're some kind of agency who helps to manage Amazon seller accounts. Is that it? Uh, yes, that's right. So we, what we do is, you know, we do product photography, listing optimization, you know, we manage PPC, you know, Amazon sellers accounts, and we also do EBC, which is now known as A plus content for everyone. So yeah, that's oh, what we do. Okay. And we probably looking to add some more services in the near future. Okay, cool. So wait a minute, you said you came to Canada in 2010. So yes. you came, you came to Edmonton? No, you came to Toronto first. No, I came to Niagara, I came to Niagara Falls first. It's you know, really years, yeah. So I missed that place. So lived in Niagara Falls for about a few years. You know, finished my school there. Then I moved to Calgary, and now I am in Edmonton. Cool. So yeah. MZ One Step, MZ One Step. Is that how the website gonna be? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you mentioned many different things that you do, but in reality, which one is the most popular one that people buy from you? Which one are you known for? Like it's usually, you know, 80-20 in it's, all our businesses. Which one? That's right. It's, you would, I would say, you know, 70% product photography and rest of them is just a mixture of, uh, you know, mixture of other services. So we are, our best seller is product photography with the graphic design and stuff. So okay so are you a photographer that's why the photography is so good uh no no i'm not a photographer <laughs> so i'm good at you know uh, hiring good photographers graphic designers and everything oh look at those this is pretty so, cool yeah. yeah so we do all kind of you know infographics lifestyle images and you know, stuff like that so um just uh, i'm on turkish internet so until it's gonna open it will take a little while maybe try Please. a different file it's probably too big or something all right wow so so this is a product a knife right <laughs> to do this, yeah this is a crab knife you know this was my first product you know when i launched it's like out of stock now don't sell that anymore so this was my very first product that sells you know, crab wow. knives. <laughs> so you actually were selling that. So how did the sales go? You discontinued because it didn't go as much as you wanted? So this one was quite a slow product. You know, I was, I was selling about only 50 to 60 units a month. So it wasn't that, you know, it wasn't that fancy. And then I, I think I infringed a trademark on this one so oh no <laughs> okay but 50 to 60 units in my opinion is pretty good like i i like to be in the waters when there is not much competition out there you know you just can have 20 products like that and you slowly you know each of them and if one of them dies you're not so worried i i, I like the strategy of many small products yeah, I was going to bundle up this one and so that sales could grow. But, uh, you know, since I infringed the copyright, so then I'm like, okay, you know, it's the, it's not worth to continue. But, yeah, so this was my very first one. Oh, cool. So you hired a hand model? Or is that the photographer holding the camera with his teeth? <laughs> you know, the funny part is everything is Photoshop. So it's a stock image. We had to, you know, Photoshop the crabs and the hands really? are Photoshop. So, yeah. No way! Wait a minute. You cannot be. I, I'm like you usually yeah. have a good eye for that. But wow! So you're that good that it looks so natural. What about right. like the shadows under the crab and everything? It's just like this is yeah, Photoshop. This is amazing. Yeah, it is. That's you know that's how you know the shadowing, the sunlight, and the studio lights and everything has to be in a perfect sync so that it doesn't look photoshopped. Like, you know, if you look at the knife, you know, 
below the hand so there is a shadow of hand as well you know that is the reason it doesn't look photoshop see wow this is like you can never tell this is amazing work oh i love it let me see more check, check some check some other images you know those are photoshop too you know <laughs> wow so you guys are basically good at photoshop you're saying right it's a mixture of both <laughs> so, you know so so this posture corrector is also photoshopped on both of both of them so this image never had uh, wow but that totally i'm i'm going to do my trick again here go see the other one <laughs> oh, wow so look this even looks like usually when people photoshop it it's like i photoshopped it it looks like you just put it there and it's so unnatural like here it looks like this even gave like a cringe in your in the shirt because of it's wearing it wow this is awesome <laughs> I see more of those okay so uh, that's someone else's product yeah that's yeah that was the only one mine so the rest of them are all our clients okay yeah, we're supposed to update our portfolio these are some of the older ones so yeah update your portfolio because if you are awesome you know for sure people want to see the awesome work you do this is yeah, an interesting um yeah so yeah, this is 2018 donald trump point so so are you saying donald trump ordered this and came to you as a client <laughs> <laughs> <I wish>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wow yeah, that's that, that interesting would be, that'd be nice I wonder if he had any issues with the, you know, the infringement of any sort. Of <laughs> That's a cool product, though. Yeah, Amazon, they stopped collectibles and everything. They banned. I mean, you need approval to sell you know, these kind of coins now. So at that time, you know, you could sell. Okay, so uh, silver is very hard to photograph. I know from experience because I had a lot of silver details on mine, and. What happens is if I was wearing like a striped colored shirt and I take a picture of my silver items right away, that silver reflects any red or green or whatever you're wearing. Now, if you put just the white color around the silver, then it has no black and then silver looks fake or like washed or something. So you have to have some black as well that you're supposed to put next to silver so it reflects nicely. So this guy totally knows what he's doing when he was taking pictures of that because it has to be a little bit reflective. It has to show a little bit black in the silver. Oh, this is a very good job with that. It's so hard yeah. to do it on your own. All the metal, you know, the silver or glass work, you know, they do you know reflect a lot so it's a really fine art no matter how good of a photographer you are you really need some photoshop you know skills as well to bring the best out of that image otherwise you would see some reflection while taking the photographs so it's a mixture of everything right so photoshop graphic design good photography and you know some kind some imagination work the artwork so it's a mixture of everything that brings the beauty out of a good you know good photo yeah, this is very good work. So, are you the one who usually creates the concept, or uh, like... no? It's it's we we have uh, one of our uh, there's a the lady who, who worked for us. She makes all the image plans and send those to graphic designers, and they do their own magic kind of. They they add their own touch so that you know. So we do have a someone who designed this but now i have that much experience now you know since i've been doing this for two years now little over that so now i can tell right away you know when the designers they send any image for my approval i can send right away you know i can say that this is a good image or not good image so if i approve that that means you know it's good to be delivered I mean, it's good it's definitely good look no reflections of anybody's t-shirt <laughs> in here <laughs> nothing like that and yeah everything is not really like look everything naturally reflecting like the stickers here they are reflecting naturally this is yeah, yeah. t-shirts or cameras <laughs> i'm super picky on silver photographing because uh, i i had this idea that i'll just build the white box in the house, you know, spend like a hundred dollars to build it. Well, my husband did, and then <laughs> just tried to photograph. You know, bought this cheap box uh, for eighty dollars on Amazon, 
And I thought, that's all I need, you know, I'll just put my camera in. But this is not how it worked out. Basically, it was a waste of money. <laughs> it just yeah, exactly. takes so much time to like, you have to move this little bit of a left, little bit of a right, little bit of a left. And if it's like material stuff and I sell courses, um, they have like fabrics and fabrics are even worse because they always look like a used product <laughs> and you want to make it look like new. It's super yeah. hard. So you know the struggle. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. So you're getting all types of products, right? I see that. Yeah. Is this Photoshop too? Yes. <laughs> no way. And this I guy was, was surprised. Yeah, I was surprised when I looked at the hand of the baby. I'm like, wow, this guy really needs <laughs> a raise. <laughs> wow, this guy, you should never lose this guy, whoever it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> so actually, the hand was holding something else, I'm assuming, in the in the real image, he removed that. That is right. So uh, that was holding something else and he put this product in the hand of, you know, wow, the baby. Yeah. That is great work. So uh, that costs much cheaper than doing the real lifestyle photography, right? That is right, especially with the baby products. You know, when you're hiring a baby model, you don't know how long that's going to take because babies, they don't go with any schedule. You know, you hire them for four hours, they can take eight hours and you have to pay for their parents as well in some cases when you travel. So it's much cheaper if you go with a high quality stock image and if, if you know someone who does uh, great graphic design, you know, uh, that saves a lot of money. So that, that way you're not paying for, uh, you know, models. Uh, but also stock images could cost, right? So if I'm looking for a baby, um, and do I have to buy that special license usually? You know, there is the different we, license. We do have the plans for, you know, the Shutterstock, Adobe Stock and everything. So what we can do, we, you know, we buy them cheaply. So you don't have, to, our clients, they don't have to pay for any photos. We license them commercially. So. Oh, very nice. Because I, I know that it is to, to get commercially, uh, commercial approval, like officially. Yeah, it's, it's good to know that you guys are not just stealing, you know, <laughs> the photos. Yeah, that it's all properly done. Okay. And it's, it's you know, the, it's, it, it also takes a lot of time finding a great photos, right? So if, if there's someone, now our designers, they are experienced enough so they can find images, you know, within five to ten minutes. But sometimes if there's, if they're new, it can take hours finding a good stock photo. Right. Yeah, like this one, a little bit, uh, yeah, not to my liking. And this one is not going to work. It's closed the eyes. And now if we need to replace, like, I'm just looking for a replacement for that same toy. Like, you know, just to find a kid that's holding something properly. And, oh, yeah, that's pretty hard. Um, <laughs> pretty maybe, hard. Um, yeah, I know it's going to be hard. Maybe type something like kid, baby playing with uh, a ball or something, right? Okay, makes sense. And then you try to replace that item with that, right? And then surround him. That's right. And then he's already surrounded with toys and it can stay. You just need the product in there. Yeah, I just need to need a product and maybe we added the packaging right next to it and it also and a little bit of infographics that goes with the you know the brand theme this is great table if you can tell, this this table cloth is also photoshop wow <laughs> let you look at that this yeah. is pretty awesome you guys are very good at photoshop i i like you know, some many, many of that I've seen are so fake and so, you know, even the 3D rendering people are doing these days. It just doesn't look real to me and I don't like those. But this is just like so natural. Yeah, we, we, we have, you know, many clients asking us for 3D rendering, but when we show them our portfolio, they're like, no, we're, we'll, we'll go with this one. <laughs> yeah, because it's just very nice. Oh, I love this. So you're saying it's more... Look at this. This is the same customer probably who ordered the coins. <laughs> Another one was, uh, you know, the pro-Trump and this customer is anti-Trump. So <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> I see. Adding some kind of a humor as well. So our content creators, you know, they do a great job when it comes to any uh, gags or funny products. You know, it's mm -hmm. a sense of you know, comedy. I'm <laughs> using it. White House is using it. It's very interesting, trendy, trendy these days. So, um, is I, I was going to ask about the price. So, is it much more expensive? Let me just try and find the price somewhere here, I guess. 
Maybe scroll down. It just must be there somewhere. Huh, okay. So we have the prices here. There's a starter, 395. Standard, seven images, 12 images. So why would I want 12 when Amazon only lets me to put seven, I think, or nine when you yes, hide two? For, you know, some companies, they also have their own brand websites and some customers, they want, you know, some clients they want for their social media or for a Facebook ad, something like that, right? Some want to experiment, you know, the split testing on the main image. So they, it's just an extra option if someone wants to have them. It's not just for Amazon, you know, for Facebook ads or a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so uh, basically that's for like my Shopify site or something. That makes sense. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so probably I'd go something like that and everything else is included the same, right? In all of them. All that's right. One revision. Ah, so you do revise it if I don't like some detail, right? It just says one revision, but we do revise as long as, you know, until the client is, you know, happy. So we if you're not happy with first revision, we'll do like two, three, four. It just says there. Okay. Cool. So now 495 for seven pictures. So my calculator is going to be divided by seven. That is $70 for one picture. Wow. So when I was doing lifestyle photography, it was $1,000 for just the photo shoot. And on top of that, I had to pay for the white background pictures separately. Oh, okay. So yes. the 1000 including the model, which is like $300 for that day of shooting. Uh, and then you have to pay for their taxi to get there. <laughs> so it's like, it's not yeah. so easy. Okay. That is right. So it's, it's very good pricing in my opinion, uh, $70 per picture and you get these beautiful things. <laughs> this is great. So you also do the white, white background ones, right? I've seen only lifestyle ones for now, but I guess with white background, Yes, we do white background as well. So this is just to attract uh, that. This, if we can do this this thing, we can also do white oh, background. Sure. Maybe if you want to look at yeah. this cup okay. image. Uh, which one? Oh, yeah. this one is cool also. So this is also a white, pure white background. So. Right. so we can do a pure white background or we can add some effects so that it looks, you know, a little bit attractive because some clients, they want us, you know, they want to do the split test. So one image totally with the amazon guidelines and you know, this is the main image but it's not perfectly according to the amazon's guidelines just because clients want to to add some effects to the image mm -hmm. so, yeah i had this super complicated product that was very hard to make it on a white background it was like a it had a fox face and it had fur real fur around it Mm -hmm. So that fur, you know, when you're trying to Photoshop the white, like, because the background, when you take a photo, is not naturally white so much. You have to Photoshop it to make it pure white. And when you Photoshop, half of the hair of the fox would get removed, you know, in, in the Photoshop process. Because yeah. it was white, white hair, you know, and white fur on the white background. It was super, super complex. And nobody yeah. could, have, you know, could, could do a good maybe, job with that. Yeah, if you want to take a look at the other image, which is quite similar to white, uh, maybe the paint brushes, like scroll down maybe. Paint brushes, wait, uh, yeah. where yeah. are they? Uh, like, I, I think it's the second, third row, I think. Uh, this one, no. Uh, no. Uh, uh, this one, no, white. This one, no. That's the one? Yeah, that one, that's the one. So if you look at it, so this bottles had pure white color. Oh yeah. Right. So so we had to make it something grayish kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So that you know the white doesn't look too photoshopped or something. Yeah, yeah. Because it would wash itself out. But still for the main image you will need to use the You're right, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. for for my Shopify I could use something like that, you know. Yeah, that's my idea. Because you know when us Amazon sellers, we have Amazon listing. We very often just copy paste the same main image to the Shopify, you know, and very often probably we forget or I forget to that I could use the lifestyle image as my main image on my Shopify site because nobody cares there, you know. It's just that yeah, it's just a standard thing to do to not, but you actually can. Yeah, this is pretty cool stuff. Well, um, so can I ask you a little bit more about you? Like, how did you? 
how do you like run your business and how does it work uh are you the sole founder or you have a big team like how how are you structured so now we're a team of 20 plus you know people wow. uh, when i started i was the only one then i you know i started in 2017 uh, i was an amazon seller myself uh, so this is how it all started so i live in edmonton so i started a meetup group in edmonton started having some meetups so it got some traction a lot of people were coming in they were asking for help and everything so i'm like yeah i know everyone i know great graphic designer i know a great photographer so i'm like okay why not i start you know providing a service since everyone's asking me about these things so i started an agency at that time so i was the only one then i looked, you know one of my partner joined so our team slowly started growing uh I, we were working from home then we had you know we rent we took an office in edmonton and now we are a team of 20 people uh some of them are in pakistan uh, we have a team of 15 people there and we are seven people in edmonton office so we are growing and it's growing at good speed now so i think we're at the uh, right place and right time this is what i think because you know because everyone wants to start amazon they need services and uh, yeah it's it's used to be a solopreneur now it's now we're starting to build a team and yeah so quarter four's been busy so yeah it's it's going so we have a team of like seven graphic designers we have two photographers you know four copywriters and you know these website and software guys who are, who are working on the it stuff and me and some of my partners we we manage all the projects clients and we're now ex- starting to do the exhibitions at multiple conferences you know, we're going to white label expo uh, oh great in, in london uh, no uh, oh on the us side Yeah. Uh, US yeah Las Vegas so the London one is i think happening um like tomorrow tomorrow yeah afternoon. something like that right for people who are watching it might not be tomorrow anymore but it was like november yeah. 25th something like that or 27th 27th through 28th i think yeah <laughs> yeah um because this will get posted only a few weeks later so um, okay. it will be already past um <laughs> are you going to any other events uh on like european side at all yeah we're working on prosper you know prosper show where we're trying to you know uh, figure out uh, a deal you know trying to negotiate and stuff on the exhibition we went to ecom chicago you know last month i think it was yeah last month in october anything yeah. in europe at all i was planning to uh, maybe this summer i'm hoping you know if there's any uh, probably the white label expo it's coming in frankfurt i believe uh, then maybe there's uh, one by orange kilk you know we'll There are quite some good conferences in Europe. Yeah, so. yeah, the I'm going to be at one in um, in March in Prague, European Seller Conference. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, Orange Click one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Oh, he, so he is the guy who's uh, organizing that one too. Yeah, yeah, and uh, last year it was amazing, so I was thinking uh yeah, to apply again and I'll be a speaker uh on at that conference. So I may see you there if you consider coming. <laughs> Yes, you know, I I will, you know, I we have, you know, some budget on the side for just for the conferences, so hopefully yeah, so Prague is not too far away. It's just just a flight away, yeah. Just a flight away. <laughs> if you buy now, you will get half the price for the flight tickets. <laughs> yeah, good one, yeah. I think March it won't be that busy, so yeah. Yeah. Find a good deal. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So you're saying there are seasons with your type of work? Like you have seasonality? I think so i hope that you know now we're like one of the peak seasons just because it's i don't know if it's because of the black friday and quarter four i hope not i hope it stays like this but uh, we'll find that out in january before it, it's been really been consistent but since past four or five months it it has really picked up a lot so i hope it's not quarter four i hope it stays like this for <laughs> for a longer yeah. period of time so uh, we'll figure out next year so so far it's the peak season yeah it's pro- probably because of the quarter four but now quarter four is almost gone i think black for black friday is coming up so people have their listings ready and everything they have their listings optimized and people are people have plans for the ppc and everything so so i think the quarter four for the services side is almost over so now the it's now it's just the normal stuff so okay cool so if people want to contact you how can they reach out to you and chat with you So yeah they can you know the our web email address is info@amgonesta.com we have the phone number that comes directly to me on the website so you know feel free to give me a call anytime so if you have yeah so 
that's the fastest way to reach us or you can contact us through the Facebook, send us a message and we'll send, we'll, we'll be in touch with you right away. So. Great. All right. Well, thank you very much for sharing with me. You're like the amazingness, um, most amazing <laughs> Photoshopper <laughs> ever. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, I like that uh, your agency has like a, one thing that you're very, very good at because um, many agencies are a little bit good at everything, you know, so it's like you get a whole package, but it's not like the most amazing in one vertical. And yeah. actually, yeah, if you're so good at Photoshopping, this is awesome. No, thank you. Yeah, so clients, you know, clients love us. So they retain, you know, every time they launch their second product or third product, they know where to go. They don't look for any other service providers because they like our taste. So, <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Polina. Thanks. It was nice to talk to you.